yes welcome again so where we left off from the installation now that you've got VTask installed why don't we just fire it up and see what it looks like so the first thing you presented where is uh, you've got 28 days and it wanna ask you if you wanna activate and you say yes if you want to activate you say yes if you don't want to activate and you just want to try it say no so if you want to activate say yes and it's going to give you the screen you could put your details and your product key and then boom you can do it but i don't i don't have product key i don't have a username and password so i guess i have to cancel it because i want to try it i'll say no and that's going to fire up the task for you for free all right so this is how it looks like the first thing that's presented to you let's just go by starting from the top uh we have address uh host address and that's where you're gonna put your vmix web address here with the port that's what you're gonna put in there and it's actually a drop down menu that means wherever you connect to vmix it records the last uh possible connected uh, address over here so you can easily have access to it and the connect button does exactly what it means you will connect to vmix and we've got settings uh, when you go here you can go to we, we have a lot of settings coming up but for now there's nothing there and we've got only if settings we've got here is the NDI audio game that boosts the NDI audio and when you go to about that's when you're gonna know about your version and your license issues uh, your answer status uh, so now it's a trial version and then the date that's gonna expire and your limitations and then you can also activate from here but apart from that we've got a lot of options coming for you on the next update that's gonna have a default settings for uh, everything that you do alright so done uh, that's the settings and this button right here will take you to our website for any help or whatever it takes you to the forum and uh, the next thing we have here is a preview window this place is gonna be our, our preview window actually to see what clips we have in the um, what you call it uh, in the list we can view them here so this is mainly the display this area from here to here is called the display panel all right so apart from the preview we've also got the uh, current time this is actually the current time now on your system on your computer the current clip time is the time that's remaining on the clip that is playing and the total remaining time has to do with every every clip in the list all your, your total time remaining is going to be here as well and here is displaying the NDI output name that you should look for so this is what you need to look for for this instance of vmix that you're running this we, this instance that you're running it's called vtask output one so whatever you do in this list if you want to get the NDI output you need to look out for vtask output one if you open another vtask again whilst this one is open is going to be vtask output two so that's how it is so that means you can open uh, multiple instances of vtask and and then send different outputs to different computers so on here we have the output window and this is uh, basically an NDI view that only views NDI output uh, automatically it views uh, vtask the current vtask output but you can always right click and rescan and it will show you the list of uh, uh, ndi outputs that you can choose from we will talk about these ones later because they are related to certain things all right so let's move on to the next uh panel this is called the action panel this one one here so the action panel we've got save load uh, clear input add command transition duplicate and all that I'll go on to each of these uh, specifically in the different tutorials and explain what each of them does but for now it's the interface I show you this is where all the action goes and we've got so got this empty space here is where you're going to actually be adding your clips or media commands everything goes here so this way you make your list and all that so that's the uh, t uh the list view and we've got the last panel down here to the output panel where you get to choose which output module you want to use if you want to use the api output module or you want to use the ndi output module the api output module is actually going to send the file to vmix to play it vmix is going to look for the file 
on the list and then play it and when it's finished it will remove it that's the api that's what it does and the ndi is actually going to use ndi you know about ndi so that that's the basic interface uh, i think you have an idea of what everything does in this interface so let's just jump into the next tutorials where we really put something into action and i see you there